Dimelang. Hi guys and welcome to Mzanti Mom. If this is your first time here, my name is Buse Leto and yeah, I do all content related to being a mom. I do vlogs. I You get to travel with me, meet my friends, family, the whole shebang. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you click the notification bell um, so that you can get notified when I upload. You don't want to miss any video, guys. Um, yeah, um, so from the title of the video, guys, you can see today we're going to be talking all things car seats, right? So if you are pregnant and wondering, should you get an infant car seat? Um, if your baby is maybe growing into a toddler, what kind of car seat should you get? This is a video for you. If you don't have a child and you want to gift someone, this is quite an expensive gift, but hey, uh, welcome and enjoy. Um, yeah, make sure that you continue watching. Please guys, leave all your comments below. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you guys. And make sure that you give this video a like. Um, yeah. Okay, so the reason I did this video is because last week I had to go get a car seat for Anea. Anea is one and she was in an infant car seat and yeah, I'm gonna go into the different kinds of car seats just in a minute, but I just want to explain to you guys. I went into, I think, three baby shops and I kid you not guys, it was so overwhelming and I knew what I wanted, but it was still so overwhelming um to try figure out which car seat what if i'm making the wrong decision and the reason for that is that is because car seats can be quite expensive um so it's not something that you're just gonna go and buy on a whims you know what i mean you save up for it and you buy a car seat right um yeah and i found it so overwhelming i literally had to go to the shops three times before i was like okay i'm committing and i'm buying so this video is to just to kind of help you to know what to look out for um and just to to help you understand what's out there in the market um yeah so without wasting any more time i am gonna go into the different car seats that we've had right so this are, these are the different kinds of um car seats or your options right you can either buy an infant uh, car seat which looks like the one in the video now this red one this was gifted from from a friend um and it was a baby shower gift right now this car seat doesn't go on any stroller it's actually just sits in the car, right? So that's the one option. Another option is to get a travel system. Now, a travel system is basically a, it's basically almost like a frame of a stroller and you can, you can attach different compartments and different stuff. Also, I'm gonna show you guys here. Um, so you can attach a baby car seat um, and then you can also, when your baby grows, they have a bigger section and you can also um, put in a, a bassinet um, the bassinet that you are seeing right now looks very sad because I was too lazy to put it back in. It was just going to be a lot of work, right? So you have the travel system. Then you have what you call a multi-stage um, car seat. A multi-stage car seat means that it can take your child from different stages. You get Nord Plus, you get stage one, you get stage two, you get stage three three right and this is the one that you guys are seeing currently right so the red car seat was a gift like i said but um the friend that gifted me didn't know that we were already buying the travel seat the travel system right so i didn't use it and i will say guys if you want to save your money do not buy an infant car seat the reason i say this is because you're only gonna use it for as long as your child is less than 13 kilograms, right? And, yeah, and also depends on how tall your child is. I outgrew it pretty quickly by nine months. We really needed to change him into a new car seat. And is quite short, so she's been able to sit in her infant car seat, the one that comes with the travel system, um, until she turned a year. But it's not worth spending the money for something that you're gonna keep for a year, right? So I would really highly recommend that you either go the, the, the travel system route or you go to the uh, multi-stage car seat route, right? The pros about the travel system is literally if um, Aki was sleeping in the car, 
I would literally just take it out and you zip it onto the stroller, the or rather the frame of the stroller, right? And you go shopping, you come back shopping, you plunk it back in. It makes for easy travel, right? Um, so that's why I wanted a travel system. They can be quite expensive. This travel system I got four years ago, um, and I think back then, if, if memory serves me right, is it was about ten thousand rand. Now you can get different travel systems in your baby booms, your baby city. I personally did not, and this was like four years back. I feel like now the travel systems that are there, they, they're much nicer, right? Um, but back then, I, I, I found the ones quite bulky. So I got this travel system online. Um, I don't know if they still make them. Like I said, it was four years ago, but I got it online. And like I said, it, it was 10,000 Rand. There are more fancier ones. I'm not gonna spend anything even 10,000 rand. It was a gift for my parents if I had to be honest with you because it is a lot of money But we've got news out of it because even Anaya uses it, right? Um, so it is an investment if you're gonna get quite um, a few uses out of it Then I would say get a, a travel system the the thing with the travel system and maybe because as much as the one that we spent on was 10,000 rand, I feel like the quality wasn't the best it was not fancy um but it it, it is what it is right so it says it has lasted us this much you do get nicer leather ones if you want to spend fourteen thousand rand, rand do your thing the thing with the travel system that you need to know because it comes with an infant car seat you are still going to need to buy a car seat for when your child is maybe after a year one and a half because the car seat is too small, right? So that's the situation that we found ourselves with Anea. Um, her, you guys can see now with the travel seat, we can put her in this kind of stroller, but now we needed to buy a proper car seat for her in the car, which now takes me to the multi-stage car seat, right? Now, when you guys go into a shop, right? You, the first question that you need to think about and ask yourself, obviously you'll have a budget in mind. Um, how long do you want your car seat to last you? If you want your car seat to last you until your child is over five, over seven, then I would highly recommend that you get a multi-stage car seat. A multi-stage car seat basically carries your child from when they're not and as they grow, right? It, it, another thing that you need to look out for or when you are looking for a car seat even if it's not a multi-stage car seat you need to look at how much it reclines now i realized with aki sometimes he'd be sleeping in the car and then his neck does this now if your car seat doesn't recline it really makes it difficult especially when you are doing um long distance travel so for me when i was looking for a car seat that was very very key because my kids sleep in the car and I, I can't have them sleeping like this for two hours. Do you know what I mean? A third thing, guys, these things get dirty so quickly. I can't even explain to you so quickly because your child is eating in it and it gets messy. So you need to make sure that the cover is removable and that you can put it in the washing machine or you can wash it however way you want to wash it. But that is an, a third thing that you need to, 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 to ask for, right? Then a fourth thing, this is a personal preference. For me, I go for black, gray, the darker the better. Like I said, these things get dirty quite quickly. Um, Achi had been gifted a, a car seat and his one was gray. Guys, when I say within two weeks, that thing was brown. And I, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it because, no, yeah. So my advice would be pick a car seat that is dark in color because it gets dirty quite quickly right so those are the four things that you need to kind of look out for or ask right when you go look for your car seat now the price ranges like i said the oh, like i said that a normal car seat that doesn't attach to anything costs about 1.5 that was a gift it costs about this um it costs the same as this Achilles one so i don't think it's worth it then a nares one cost Three thousand rand. Like I said, the multi-stage um, car seats can be quite expensive, but you are going to have it for years, guys. So that's why I said it's an investment, and make sure that you are buying the right one. Um, another option that we're not there yet is to get a booster. There's a booster seat, but then there's also like I'm going to put a picture of it. Um, if you have an older child, this basically elevates the child so that the I guess the the the, the seat belts 
cysts properly um so that's also another option if you do have an older child and you don't want to now buy a full-on car seat um but obviously obviously if you are not somebody that travels a lot um you don't really need to get anything fancy like this because you're not going to use it but just so you know it is illegal in south africa to have a child less than three years not kind of harnessed and it's dangerous to harness a child in a proper car seat because obviously yeah it's just not safe right now i will say this right the the cons of buying a multi-stage car seat is that if you're somebody that goes to the mall a lot if you're somebody that likes running maybe you like taking hikes things like that you do then need to buy a separate stroller right now we are lucky in that we bought the travel system and like i said the travel system has a section where anaya now is older and she can use that as a stroller right and then we still have the car seat um so that's something that you need to keep in mind um a stroller is not a need you can literally walk in the mall with your child you can put your child in a trolley most most times guys i i won't even lie most times if i if i had to go to pick a bay or wherever with aki i just put him in the trolley and then we find it actually makes it easier than having to push a stroller and a trolley so you can get away with actually not having a stroller like i said it depends on your lifestyle um yeah guys so uh i th the good places that you can go i went to baby city i went to baby boom a surprising place babies are us that is where i actually got anaya's um that is where i got anaya's uh car seat i'll try and find the links and link them in the description box below but i would really recommend that you shop around if you know what you want in your mind like again i said how old is your child how how long do you want the car seat to last you um the reclining thing was a big thing for me um check the recline check if you can take out the cushioning part so that you can wash it and obviously color color is just an extra if at least if you know what you need then it will be easy um to see the different car seats um yeah guys i hope this was helpful i hope it will help you um if you haven't bought a car seat so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna try to do more videos of stuff that i buy um and how i came to buy those things um but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um if you have friends that maybe are thinking of buying send them this link send them the link guys and just be like hey i saw this video why don't you check it out we're trying to get to 2000 subscribers guys so make sure you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching bye love